Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we will be doing a quick run through of the 8th Armor Reforger dev blog. In this dev blog, they wanted to address current issues facing the players and what they are doing to fix them, as well as their plans for the future. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Starting off, they want to address the issues revolving around connecting, crashes, and kicks. So they decided to give us a detailed explanation of the situation. First, connectivity issues, which is when you are unable to get into a server due to a mods error, loading error, or a client crash. Second is disconnects or kicks mid-game. These are mainly caused by high network traffic that is often caused by desynchronization between you and the server. Sometimes disconnects can occur for valid reasons, however, like if a server is undergoing a restart, if a scenario is ending, or if you get vote kicked out. In these regards, they have fixed several bugs and issues that cause them to have more improved network traffic and say there will be significant optimizations coming in the future. In addition, they developed some new tools that allow them to investigate the cause of bugs, making it easier to find and fix bugs. As well, as we know, last week's update included a change that makes it so we know when a server is supposed to be booting down. Finally, there are crashes. They are aware of the issues and are doing as much work as they can to fix them. They are aware of some major sources of crashes that exist right now. These being a video card memory crash on console that has a fix pending, and next they noted that the majority of crashes that are occurring are due to mods, and that they are working on a feature where if one mod crashes, it will just disable that specific mod, preventing the entire game from crashing as a whole. Another very common crash when you close the game, um, it will sometimes crash, and because it doesn't cause any further issues, they view it as harmless at the moment, and they aren't working on fixing it. Now onto this week's update. We finally got the HUD-UI update that was promised for quite some time, um, this will change voice over network and radio UI, so it looks a much better now. This update makes these features less intrusive and more consistent with the rest of the HUD of the game. They also optimize the map, so opening it will improve performance as compared to when it used to just destroy performance. Um, they also fixed some smaller issues regarding gadgets, spawning on radio operators, and using picture-in-picture -picture scopes. Some of these fixes are known to affect modders in a positive light, they hope, and make it easier to mod. Finally, they closed out with their plans for the future. First, they are planning an improved system for modders, allowing them to use more file types and have more edit ability. Next, for Xbox, they are tweaking the responsiveness of aiming and adding weapon inspection, while on PC, they are working on control binding and more customizationable in regards to keybinds. Um, regarding the issues of servers restarting, they are testing a change which will reload a mission at a scenario's end instead of disconnecting players. This concept will first be rolled out on capture and hold servers, which honestly is a place that I think is a very good place to test it because capture and hold did suffer from the issue of finishing a match would return you to the menu. Um, speaking of capture and hold, if you play the game mode, there is a link for a discord in the description of people that are trying to make lobbies for the game since the game mode does not have many players. The biggest news in the concluding statement of the vlog is that crossplay is on the pipeline. They are working on some final internal testing and are planning on enabling it in the near future, and which will finally let Xbox players have modded multiplayer matches. That's really all I've got for you guys today, short little dev blog with a lot of promising features on the horizon. But until those release, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.